Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and welcome to Resident Evil 2. The story continues with the horror in Raccoon City. Let's make sure the costume is there. Yep. With Leon Kennedy on his first day on the force. It's a bad old time for Leon. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar. This woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know? So I, I figured she was drunk. God damn, this game looks so good. Keep your eyes on the road. I need some sleep. Grim, very grim. And here's our boy. What will come first, the release date of Resident Evil 8, or me completing this saga run-through? Because <laughs> Resident Evil 6, god that's going to take that's a good is. while to get through, especially since it's my least favourite game in the series. By that I mean I don't like it at all. I haven't played it for... I think I could think I completed it the year it came out, which I think was 2012, and I haven't really played it since. So it'll be interesting to see if my view has changed. But we can't jump ahead, we've got an order to sit through. Hello? Anybody there? Herb ice cream. I'd give it a try, I'm not gonna lie. I do like me some ice cream. Right. You all right? You okay there, buddy? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? He's about to turn, and in his last moments he decided to be a dick. Ooh, Pringles. I love a Pringle. Lovely.
See ya. Storage room key. There we go. Same deal as before. Collect all the things. Run! Ask questions later. Hi, Claire. Good idea. It was a bit of a risk, wasn't it, taking the police car when his jeep is right there. I mean, there's no guarantee the keys are even in the car. You only knew what lied ahead. And not just in Raccoon City, but in Europe too. I do love an intro sequence. Hey, hunk, old boy. This is my favourite bit as well. How the city just blends into the title. Love it. experience the opposite is usually true it's like we're walking from here it's more like running yeah good call boo I wish there was more cutscenes in this game because they look so good. I do like, I love a good cutscene. Not at the expense of gameplay though. I mean, as much as I love the Metal Gear se series, holy crap, they take, they do take the Michael a bit with their cutscenes. In fact, Capcom, if you ever do another Resident Evil CG movie, can it be done entirely in the RE engine?
It is, so let's get running. Ah, oh, Raccoon City, I've missed you. Coming through, thank you. Hello? Is anybody here? Nay. Right, let's. Discard you because I don't need you anymore. Right. We'll do some preemptive puzzle solving here, but we'll still read all the files so we've got the full story of what's going on. One of all my infinite items that I've unlocked will be there. I deleted all my saves, so I wasn't tempted to use them. I have no idea if that will, if it will work that way. Uh, where are you? There you are. Nine medallion. Yeah, don't think so. Guide Pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the centre of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation, with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world. Really? A stained glass window? Alright. Six, two, and eleven, I believe you are. Yes. There we go. It's been a while since I've played using keyboard and mouse. So I'm trying to remind myself of the controls. I would normally use the controller for playing on the PC, but it's decided to crap out on me. Rather annoyingly. Oh no, it, it's still just giving me all, it's, Oh, I'll be good and, I'll, and I won't use them.
All right, Elliot, we're coming. Yeah, we do. I don't like what they've done with the place. We do, we got this, Leon. Oop. Please don't lag. Shouldn't be any reason for you to lag. Nothing else is open. I don't know if you saw, but there was a video of um, somebody who's apparently a real doctor or a real surgeon, and he was doing a video about the, the injury sustained in Resident Evil 2. And according to him, you would not die that quickly from l literally being ripped in half. How horrible is that? Okay. What a way to go. And Oh, no. No, thank you. Hi there, friend. Sorry, I appear to have knocked your hat off. I know you're not dead because the door hasn't shut. Come on. Don't be a sponge. There we go. He's down for the count. Well, I'm going to assume you're done. There's still more to deal with. King Sigma, what are you doing? Ah, oh, yes, head pop. Beautiful. Uh, put you there and you there. Right, that should be this area clear for a bit. It's a brain of a zombie, but why didn't it just bite my legs? You're safe. No. Thanks. Hey, Marvin. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't. I could... Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus. 
sure you did what you could, Leon. We all know where you got that bite from now, Marvin. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hoping you'll be able to find a way out of the station. Why is Leon's uniform so much different from the other officers? Is it because he's a rookie? He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. This is good news. We can get you to the hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just going to leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. <laughs> and don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> see, that's respect. And Marvin commands respect. Right. That's a weird fucking door. I loved what they did with Carlos in... RE3 remake. This is not how I imagine my first day. Bullets! I I can believe that, Leon. I don't think many people imagine their first day on a new job going quite this badly. Alright. Drop some items off. Oh, I love being back in the RPD. The original Resident Evil 2 is my favourite game of all time. That man has perfect teeth. Lovely. Sorry. Not today, madam. Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Addendum. One of the refugees attacks us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. If I remember rightly. Nope. Here we go. Officer Leon S. Kennedy, on behalf of the RPD, congratulations on completing your training. Your especially high marks are to be commended and we couldn't be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Please report for orientation at the Raccoon City Police Station on Friday, September the 26th, 25th at 8am. 
We look forward to serving with you. Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons. Well, I think we can all agree that that's a bunch of bull. Got the map. I'll deal with you in a minute, snacky man. Look, we all like snacky snacks, but there's just no call for this. He's done. Uses of gunpowder. Handgun ammo, two gunpowder. Shotgun shells, gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder. Mag ammo, high grade powder times two. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of the gun any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. Very good advice. Right, you should be nine, fifteen, seven. Yes, more space. Neil Carlson, Elliot Edward, David Ford. Right. Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel, or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about that tunnel. Well, you succeeded in your mission, Elliot. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is... To unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in the order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Brenner. Scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Right, we know you. N E D. And then we have Marvin Branner, Rita Phillips, George Scott, Mr. G. This should be clear now. Yes. Oops. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the key badge to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else fuck, fuck it up this badly? So kind of that zombie to wait for you to put these codes in. Commemorative, an undeveloped roll of film commemorative is written on it. 
All right then. All right, I'm done. There, there was nothing of any real value apart from bullets. up anytime soon. Right, let's go up here first. Hey there, sir. Grab this DCM, that's what you should be. Magamo. Got the spade key, excellent. He's fine, he's not getting up anytime soon. Let's get ahead of ourselves and make sure we've got plenty of steely boys. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up the corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you'll need to start the sequence all over again. Yay! Alright. Oh, good. right, okay. There we go. That one was fairly simple. I can appreciate that. Spare key. Excellent. Now we can go back. To the locker. On the plus side, those boards don't break. So I don't need to worry too much about him. One oh two, two eight. Perfect. That's all we can do in here for now, at least. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. 
Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits. Also, it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realise the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. I'm sure it will. Commemorative photo. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Don't pull that lot. Take you. Combine. Put you there. Perfect. Drop you off. And then I think we'll end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 2, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.